them to some business. It is the first video to coming out in the month of May, which means the new month for Patreon backers. So now is as good a time as any to make some adjustments to how my Patreon is done. I'm going to be doing a full video on the changes I'm going to be making to my Patreon plan. There are various reasons for this. The first is, as this recording, I, I have no Patreon backers. <laughs> Melodrama aside, I currently have no Patreon backers, which, on, to a certain degree, makes it a, actually a fairly decent time to readjust how my rewards tiers work, because I'm not changing someone's rewards tier and expecting them to pay more money for the same level of rewards. Or various other things. So, additionally, I have a few... I'm also planning on adjusting my goals... But that I'll be doing in a separate thing. I have to do some research on those. So, short version of what's going on. I have, over the course of the past few months, slash years, well, been slowly working through improving the quality of the show and equipment and that sort of thing. And I've also been looking at what other Patre what video producers have been doing on Patreon. And what I am able to do with my setup in terms of providing reward level stuff for the show. And so what I'd like to do is adjust my Patreon reward tiers to provide more for you. To give you something more out of this. Something more enjoyable out of this. Something that you'll be getting out of this. You need a reason to back the show, not just watch the show. So... With that in mind, here are the thing here, if you are to today, to today, May 1st, or rather, no, not May 1st, May 3rd, I'll try to have these changes set up by May 1st. If you were to back the Patreon, and I would certainly hope that you do, here are the reward levels and what you will get for backing the Patreon. The $1 level, which previously just got you my warm, my gratitude and hopefully warm and fuzzy feelings, that is now the new reward backing level for getting your name in the credits. Honestly, I think that I was probably a little overly harsh by putting the $5 a month level of that be the get your name in the credits level, but at $1 a month, you deserve something for backing the show. And it's unfair of me to say, no, you're not giving enough. I value each and every one of my viewers, and... And if you care enough to back the show, I should care enough, and I do care enough, to, to give you some acknowledgement. At the $5 a month reward level, uh, you'll get everything under the $1 level. No matter what, you will always get your name in the credits. And by your name, I am going to be present whatever name you prefer to put forward within certain limitations. Slurs aren't allowed... I'm not going to let somebody spend a buck to plug certain pharmaceutical drugs in my in my credit roll. That sort of thing. Five dollar a month level. We will, um, in addition to getting your name in the credits, you will get to view the script for the show early. In the past, what I've been doing is. I've been doing my show scripts well in advance, often on Google Docs. And so what I can do and will do is provide a link to a Google Doc containing the, strip, the script. Oftentimes the script is completed a week to several weeks before shooting, and in some cases, depending on the, the where my buffer is, the entire episode will be done almost a month in advance of when it will actually go live. So because of how YouTube handles video scheduling, doing it this way gives you a chance to get expo to know what's coming up in an episode before it happens, and give you something to get out of it, and also give you a chance to see how the show is put together, how it works. So there's that. At the $15 a month level, I'm going to be changing this up to something different. I do a fanzine, breaking it all down the zine. It is currently available and will always be available as long as the site exists 
for free as a PDF download from efanzines.com. Now, if you want a print copy of the fanzine, at the $15 a month level, you will get that whenever a new issue of Breaking It All Down the Zine comes out. And currently I'm doing it quarterly, depending on whether I'm able to support myself off to the show or what have you. I may do it more regularly. When a zine copy, when a issue of the zine is done, you'll receive a print copy in the mail. The $15 a month charge is meant to basically cover the cost of printing and mailing with a little bit left over to cover my other expenses. But the fanzine will always be available for free through eFanzines. If you want a printed copy, me to send one to you, this will how, how you'll get that. I am going to do something more than just, oh, print it off and from a laser printer and staple it. I am planning on getting this taken to a printer and printed, possibly spiral bound, maybe with a nice clear vinyl cover or that sort of thing. Give you some nice actual production value, something good to look at rather than just a cardstock cover and standard printer paper interior staple. At the $25 a month level, this is going to be... I will do a Let's Play review of any game that is currently in my collection, and over the course of April... I am intending to put together a proper inventory of what I have in my collection. So when I do a Let's Play review from this list, you will know what's on this list. And you'll have a good idea of, of what has been played and what is available to be played. At the $30 a month level, this will be the new I will um, review a book or movie thing. And I'm expanding this here to, it has to be something that, that I can get a hold of in some form or another. And part of the $30 price tag at this point, at this level is ideally, I'm going to try and purchase this legally. And so $30 at this level will cover me buying this, basically. Is 30 bucks Again, that should get me whatever it is. So, there's that at that level. Again, I have right of refusal on this work. If it is something that I can't readily find, if it's something from an author who I honestly don't want to support, or don't feel comfortable supporting due to certain views, I'm not going to review anything by Vox Day. I'm not going... To, I'm unlikely to review stuff from some of his supporters. I'm not going to review Bill O'Reilly's killing series of badly researched historical books, or somewhat badly researched historical books. I'm not covering that. But if I don't like your first choice, if I veto your first choice, I will work with you to pick something else. As part of this, I'm going to have a link available to my Goodreads to Read profile list. So if there is something on that list already, and you want me to bump it to the top and review that, then this is a good way to do that. And again, at the $30 level, this covers me not just the cost of me doing the show and, incur and provides incentive for me to do this first or bump this up. It also covers potentially the cost of me going to buy the thing. And I am going to add a $60 level to this, which is, I will review any game that I can get a hold of, a review or let's play any game that I can get a hold of for $60 or less. At the $25 level, this is things I own, and actually I'm going to expand that to things which I can reasonably emulate. PlayStation games... NES games, Super Famicom games. I'm willing to do import titles provided there is a translation patch for it, or it is a game that is playable if you don't speak the language in which the game is released. Like, for example, Bomberman. For the $60 level games, this is games which I don't have in my collection, and I can get a hold of for that price or less. Again, $60 is kind of the hard cap here. I'm not going to do a full let's play of, oh, for example, let me think of a, um, like, 
Steel Battalion. I'm not going to do a full Let's Play of Steel Battalion with the controller. And all of that. For a $6 price point, because I, there's so much stuff that's required to do that, that it's not a reasonable option for me to take, to buy all that stuff at that price point. I'm willing to accept a higher Patreon backing if you're willing to fork over additional cash to do the higher price pointed work, or the work that's more expensive. I'm willing to go there, but otherwise, the hard limit you know, for this level is $60 or less. And if a work, as always, if the work is not available or I have to veto that choice for some reason or another, then I will work with you to get another choice. As always, for everything on this here, on this list for picks, whatever it is you're recommending, it needs to be something bare minimum that I can review on YouTube. I'm not going to review pornographic materials, or at least I'm going to have to think very hard about reviewing pornographic materials, because that stuff is stuff where I can't show it. I'm, it's not something where it's an entertaining review if it's the entire review is a black sensor box. So, there is all of that. Feel free to back, feel free to ask any questions about these support levels in the comments. Additionally, as I said, I am going to redo my goals levels as well. Since I initially set my goals, I have purchased an Xbox One and a couple other things. What so what we do to adjust these support levels is basically I need to make changes to reflect things I'd like to do with the show going forward. However, some of these are going to take research. My, it is my intent to have a bring on, bring on a full-time title card artist. I just need to figure out how much it costs to bring on a full-time title card artist. I would like to... I mean, I already have a support, a goal level for getting a camera and a microphone and do going out more out in the field stuff. I also need to do the research to figure out how much it would cost to... Say, for example, bring someone along with me to have someone basically to be a boom mic holder and to do the, the, the jobs of grip and other things beyond just having a microphone with a direct, a camera with a directional microphone on it. If I'm going to be bringing a second person on board for this, I'd like to pay them for their services and I need to do research on how much I need to pay them on top of everything else. So there's all this stuff here. Additionally, if there are support pledge options that you'd be honestly interested in that I have not mentioned, please post in the comments as well. I had previously put forward doing a Sky, a weekly or monthly Q&A via Skype or Google Hangouts. I kind of dropped that because we had, because most of my backers were in different time zones or different countries entirely, and so scheduling would be an issue. Keeping under consideration that I'm on the west coast of the United States and any hangout or Q&A session should be on the weekends. If that is something that you are interested in, and if you have an idea of what support level you would pay for that sort of thing, post that in the comments as well. I would be interested in hearing that. So, thank you very much for watching. Next week will be business as usual as we once again return to Legends of the Force. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like this video and subscribe to the channel to be notified when new videos come out. If there's something in particular you'd like to see me cover or just want to get your name in the credits or otherwise help the show, please support my Patreon. Once again, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.